The following story is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. This happened around Christmas time, when I was about 9 years old. My mom's been single ever since my dad had passed away when I was 6. It's only my brother, my sister, my mom, and I. We were at the mall, and we were doing some shopping for the holidays. Now, we never really got to go out that much because of all the kids, but we would mainly go to parks and small shops, so we were really grateful that our mom let us go to the mall with her. Surprisingly, it wasn't that busy for it being around the holiday time. When we arrived in the parking lot, my brother pointed out three different cop cars in the parking lot. My mom told us that they were just doing routine checks and that there's nothing to worry about because it's just the holiday time and they're doing it for everybody's safety. We went into about three or four different shops and when we got to the very last store, my mom rewarded us for good behavior. So she let my brother, my sister and I grab one toy each from the kids section. We went to the checkout to get the toys and what I remember is an awful smell passing my nose. It was very pungent and it grabbed my attention and a couple seconds later I realized that there was a creepy man standing near the checkout staring at us. He looked down at me and then he looked down at my brother. My mom realized and she quickly stood between him and I. My mom As we walk closer to the car, my mom unlocks the car. We all get in, and I open my door. Everyone gets in, and I'm the very last one to close my door. At this point, I felt like the nightmare was over. My mom started the car, and I was ready to go home. And then, out of nowhere, my little brother starts crying, and I look to my right, I see that creepy man with that same look on his face right outside the window. He starts to knock on the window. My mom screams and drives forward. Thankfully there wasn't a car parked in front of us so she could pull right out. She begins circling the parking lot looking for the police officers that we saw earlier. As we're looking, we notice there's a car behind us that's getting awfully close. My mom is calming us down, telling us not to worry. Then that car that was behind us pulls up next to us at the stop sign. It's that same man. <laughs> Thankfully, there's a police car with its sirens on up ahead, and my mom begins honking her horn at it to get its attention. My mom pulls up next to it, pulls her window down, and screams, telling her that that man is chasing her and her kids. The police officer acted instantly, and he drew his weapon and pointed it at the man in the car. The man in the car pulled over up front, and another cop car pulled up. They eventually took the man away in handcuffs. A few police officers spoke to my mom, my brother, my sister, and I. They took our statements, and they tried to calm us down, and a police officer also followed us home to make us feel safe. It was all just a nightmare, and I've had trouble sleeping ever since. As time went by, it began to get a bit easier to cope with it. A few years pass, and my siblings and I speak the- A few years pass, and my sister brings up in conversation what had happened. She pulls up a news article about an old man who was a sexual predator who had harassed somebody at that same mall. This would explain why the mall was so empty the one day that we went, and it would also explain why there were police officers in the parking lot. To this day, I always think, why were we the ones who were the targets for that man? What if we got to the car a few seconds later, and worse? What would have happened if that police officer was never there to save us? That man is in prison now, facing some serious time. 
But what I learned, always watch your back and be aware of your surroundings because you never know who's watching you.